Welcome. Uh, let's look at section 2.2 definitions of limits uh, problem number seven. Uh, the problem is asking us to find some various values giving this graph which we are calling h of x. Okay. So uh, given this function we have right here h of x, we want to find five different things. We want to find What's h of 2? What's the limit as x goes to 2 of h of x? Which h, what is h of 4? What is the limit as x goes to 4 of h of x? And what's the limit as x goes to 5 of h of x? Okay, so let's find these um, five different values. So the first thing that we're asked to find given this graph h of x is we're asked to find what is h of 2? Now, the key thing to remember here is we're looking at things like h of 2 and the limit as x goes to 2 of h of x is that the point uh, h of 2 and the limit, those are completely different things. And if we keep that straight, we're on a good track. So what we're looking at is what is h of 2? In other words, right at 2, is there a point over 2? And we look on this graph, is there a point over 2? I go up. There's not a point here, but there is a point here. So there is a point over 2, and that point is 5. Okay, So we'd say that h of 2 is 5. All right, And it's really important that we remember that's not to be confused with the limit as x goes to 2 of h of x. What that's asking is, as I get close to 2, coming from the left, okay, if I get closer and closer to this point 2, and if I get closer and closer to this point 2 from the right, does it kind of look like I'm going to hit something here? Uh, and in other words, if you had no knowledge of what was happening at 2, what would you guess that these two lines are going to hit? And you guess that they would hit at 3. And so we say that the limit as x goes to 2 of h of x is 3. Now let's look at part c. Part c says, what is h of 4? So we look over here. This is saying, what is the point directly above 4? So we look at 4, and we look above it, and we see there is no point directly above 4. So h of 4, we say that this does not exist. Part D, we ask, what's the limit as x goes to 4 of h of x? In other words, as we come at the x value 4 from the left, getting closer, from the right, getting closer, could we make a guess about what we think that functional value would be without seeing that functional value? And we would make a guess, and the guess would be 1. So we'd say that the limit as x goes to 4 of h of x is 1. Let's look at part E. Part E says, what's the limit as x goes to 5 of this function? Again, now this is the limit. So we're saying as we get close to 5, uh, what does this look like it's getting close to? So at 5, uh, we're coming from the left. We're coming from the right. I don't know. On my graph, it looks like about 1.5. So uh, as we come from the left side, it's getting close to a point. As we come from the right side, it's getting close to a point. And I'd say that that point is maybe 1.5. Maybe in your books, that's more like 2. It's hard to tell from my graph. So maybe it's 1.5, maybe 2. Let's just put in 2. So uh, we have to understand to do a problem like this, what's the difference between h of 2 and the limit as x goes to 2 of h of x? Those are two separate things. In order to understand the concept of a limit, you have to understand that this guy and this guy are not the same. 